I've kind of heard of Minted NY mostly through the founder's Instagram, oh, sorry, Twitter account. So the founder on Twitter is really big because he posts some really cool running stuff, right? So let me see if I can find it on here. Minted NY Twitter. Um, he's a really cool um, dude who runs really cool races and whatever it may be called. His name is Marcus Milioni. I think that's his name, right? Marcus Milioni. He has this brand called Minted, which essentially, you know, maybe the brand itself isn't the most interesting, you know, voice wise. It's kind of what you'd expect um, from like a New Yorker guy, right? Type of thing in terms of that kind of menswear preppy look with like um, penny loafers and slacks and varsity jackets and, you know, um, short sleeve button ups and shit. It's, it's a particular type of vibe, right? You know what I'm talking about if I, if I get the actual store up for you. But the guy's Twitter account is really cool. He's in that kind of group of like menswear streetwear founders who are into running. I think there's a lot of them now. I don't know what that is all about. There's a whole, it's a, it feels like there's a trend or there's a crew of like streetwear, menswear runners who are all buff and run loads of races and shit. And, you know, always posted pictures of their vintage Porsches and matcha, matcha lattes and avocados and toasts and stuff. It's really kind of funny. But at, at least lifestyle wise, it's a bit different to what I kind of grew up with, where a lot of my streetwear heroes were people who kind of, you know, were basically degenerates, right? They were drug addicts. They were alcoholics and shit. Uh, retail mafia days, if you know, you know. So it's quite nice to see like a different vibe with these founders where it's all about health and wellness. It's all about creativity. It's all about sharing of the process behind the scenes. Like there's a there's a cool little thing that he posted here actually where it looks like he's doing some sort of um stuff for the Nike Performance Lab, running on a treadmill with some latest running shoes and shit. So a lot of like health and wellness and all that kind of good stuff, courtesy of this guy that runs this brand called Minted. And they've also got this cool little advert here, actually, I'm going to play for you. Let me actually get this up on you so you can hear this advert. This is actually a cool advert for the actual shoe itself. The title is uh, Minted in New York and Sukorni Pro Grid Triumph 4 will release on May 11th from 12 p.m. at the pop-up and online on May 15th. So let's watch the little advert they put together for the actual shoe they did with Sukorni. I'm not going to lie, I kind of missed this. This is what I was doing at Central St. Martins during my product design course. I kind of miss sketching. I kind of miss this, you know, ideation side of things. Um, you know, taking an idea from a sketch into, you know, some concepts, into some prototypes, and then kind of, you know, refining it along the way until you get stuff into, into manufacturing. It kind of gives you a respect for products. When you design products, um, when you go through the process, it kind of gives you a respect for how hard it is to get things to production it's very difficult and sometimes you make loads of um edits and changes to make the production process easier which sometimes can impact the overall look and style of something that you make at the end and sometimes maybe negatively hamper it as well but sometimes the customers don't know that because they just expect the thing to come you know look the way it does so it's usually a really hard process so i love that the fact that they are giving us this behind the scenes look at how they came up with the idea of this um runner that they did together with sukorni And by the way, I'm feeling like I'm seeing after the Travis Scott, um, what are they called? I forgot what the name of them are called. But the Travis Scott shoes that came out recently, I'm feeling like there's a bit of a trend nowadays with like people bringing out shoes and using the adverts as a chance to kind of show you how they are meant to be used. Like a, they're like a cross training lifestyle shoe, it's, it's, which I love because my favorite era of like training shoes is definitely like 80s 90s kind of like like nike air trainer type of vibe bo jackson type of vibe of shoes that could be, are basically multi-purpose they can work on a basketball court they can work playing football they can work playing you know weightlifting whatever it may be all those type of things included involved in it and you're seeing a lot of this kind of in a lot of the kind of adverts and stuff happening with shoes nowadays, you obviously see it with the stuff that Nigel Sylvester does with his BMX and other bits and bobs. You're seeing with this, you're seeing with the Travis Scott stuff. There's a lot of like cross training lifestyle. Hey, you can wear this to the gym, wear this to the club, wear this to whatever, all over the place. I quite like it. <laughs> It's a 
beautiful shoe. I really want it, man. It's really fucking nice. Love this. Look at the tape. Lovely. So that's that's obviously that, and obviously to give an idea on the brand and what they look like. Do you have the Do you have the apparel? Cool. This is it. This is the brand as well. Let's go on his website for minted. Oh, it's actually closed now. You can't see it, but let's go on the Instagram. Let's see if we can see some images of the clothes. So I can give you an idea on what they kind of look like aesthetic wise. But again, like I said, think menswear, think APC, uh, think a you know ALD. Uh, yeah, um, that kind of style of clothing so as you can see here some regular hoodies and sweats But you've got some nice varsity jackets as well here. You've got some nice um, cut and sew pieces Right, you've got some decent little bits here and there that minted do and you know what's really funny about this collaboration This is probably the first time and I love actually this hat is really nice too. the flex department hat nice white slacks there um, This is probably the first time where a sneaker collab has made me more interested in in checking out the brand's overall offering because it usually works the other way around usually you're already a fan of the brand's offering and then when they do a sneaker collab it makes you oh shit cool they get to do a collab because um if i'm not mistaken sneakers or footwear is the hardest and most expensive um thing to do when it comes to apparel and clothing whatever that kind of field is it's a harder thing to produce so that's why a lot of brands would rather collaborate with a footwear manufacturer or footwear brand as opposed to do their own it's really expensive to do um and obviously you can get your ideas out better with someone that's already got their own systems and infrastructure set, set up but usually like i said most of the time you're already a fan of the brand and then you're hyped that they're doing a footwear collab but in this respect i'm not really too familiar with the brand but i saw the but i'm familiar with the founder but then i saw the shoes and i'm like oh shit the shoes look cool now i'm into the brand so it's kind of the opposite way which is kind of a cool way to kind of approach and kind of come into the brand anyway all of that being said the shoe itself is gorgeous. So Cornea Minted NY link up for this Pro Good Triumph for collaboration. And to be honest as well, not to bring other people involved in this, but I feel like this shoe is what people were hyping the Hidden NY A6 to be. I think the Hidden NY A6 has become a little bit overhyped because I think Hidden NY is a bit of a shitty, you know, and a bit of a regurgitating platform anyway. So people were kind of shocked when they put out such a clean modern colorway of a shoe without going all the bells and whistles and because it's definitely the best thing they've done right they've not done anything better than this ever so this was actually a really decent colorway of a shoe but i think it was overhyped and i think it was overhyped because what they were probably trying to go for was what minted ended up doing with sakoni and sakoni again it's not probably as well regarded or as probably as trendy as an a6 is but in terms of a model, in terms of what they've done with this shoe, it's fucking beautiful. I'm not going to lie. If you zoom in on the details, you have this really weird kind of like plastic, almost, I think plastic rubber webbing over it. And you have like a mesh lining under it. So you have this really nice two-tone effect. You have these great colors at the front. You've got silver. You've got, again, all these like 80s kind of like, you know, 80s um, cross-training aesthetic type of colorways in there. We have a lot of white, grays, and greens and shit. Very neutral tones. Again, kind of reminds me of this particular colorway of the Air Trainer Color Frills. Is it? How do you spell it? Air Trainer 1. Uh, claw. There, there we go. This particular model, it kind of reminds me of this particular shoe and this particular style, um, where it's that this is like a classic quintessential 80s runner colorway of a shoe. So that essentially feels like where the inspiration may have come from. I'm not too sure if that's true. But that's what I'm kind of running with. Um, so the colorway itself is fucking gorgeous. You've got all these nice little hits there. You've got the New York motive. You've got the custom tongue. You've got the custom little label at the back of the tongue. So nice and little details all over the place. But again, what one of my cardinal rules when it comes to colorways free colorways or free colors are basically the way to go and that kind of allows you to kind of create like a modern shoe a simple shoe without going crazy and making it look like you put you know you fucking covered it in rainbows and shit so you've got nice greens you've got grays you've got whites and that's basically it those three colors are done really well and then they've also got this addition of almost like an off-white midsole it kind of reminds me of the days when I used to collect sneakers and we purposely um, use acetone on the midsoles to take away some of the painting so you could reveal the pure polyurethane midsole and then that would age out really, uh, that would kind of um, help the midsole to age a little bit better and darken and that would give it the look of like a vintage shoe that was left in storage for ages. So I think that looks really fucking cool. And again, I, I've never really been interested in wearing a pair of Sikornis, but I feel like this particular silhouette is fucking done very well. Even the instep. And again, th th this reminds me of like that apple it's kind of like an apple thing apple have this thing where i think it's like a tim um sorry what's his name uh steve jobs thing 
I think in the autobiography or some interview, he mentioned where his stepdad would make him paint the fences around their house, but he was a stickler for making him paint the front of the fence just as good as he painted the back. And that design philosophy or that kind of philosophy in general is what kind of went into Apple. That's why when you open up Apple products, especially some of their laptops or phones, they have really beautifully, you know, designed and laid out circuit boards and shit. It just doesn't look like a hop, you know, been clumped together type of thing so i like the fact that even though most people will only see the outside of the shoe i love that the, the instep as well has been considered and looks really nice as well you've got this amazing i'm not sure what this is i think it's like a plastic guard on the instep i'm assuming when you i'm assuming this arch lock is almost similar to flywire where when you tighten the laces around this sort of area it helps to kind of keep your foot stable so that's pretty cool. So I kind of like that as well. And of course, you've got this really nice arch support as well here. It's kind of an exaggerated arch. So maybe it might not be the shoe for somebody um, that has a very low arch. You might have to get an instep, an insole in there to kind of help. But in general, it looks fucking gorgeous. I'm not going to lie. It looks really, really fucking nice. So I really like this shoe. And, and I've also liked the... This is a kind of a pet peeve of mine, but something a lot of people don't do. But I think I really like this. So on this particular shoe here, you've got reinforced... You've got one reinforced eyelet. And I'm assuming this reinforced eyelet is at the point of real tension. So I like that they've got one eyelet here reinforced with this little white silver ring, where I'm assuming maybe over wear testing, this was probably the one eyelet that was probably ripping too much. So they kind of reinforce it to make it stable so it wouldn't kind of rip off too, too easily. So I really like that look of it. And then they've also got some nice detail here on the back of the heel. A nice green hit again. You see the differences of the sole. You see, the, you see this kind of overlay which is almost kind of plasticky on the outside. It's fucking cool. This again reminds me a little bit of the Adidas Climber Core. Is it Climber Core? It was a shoe from back in the day that Adidas did. I think it's Adidas. Is it Climber Core? Adidas Climber Core Trainers. It kind of reminds me a little bit of that. Yeah, there we go. So that that back heel kind of reminds me of this. These Adidas Climber Core. So even that section of the arch support kind of reminds me of the Climber Cores and this little webbing as well. So that looks really cool. Um, and then we've also got another image here from the top, which is also my one of my favorite kind of angles for shoes to see if something actually looks great. And again, not overly pointy, not overly square, and a nice silhouette that you could probably wear, again, with training clothes. Um, obviously, relax as well with your lifestyle shit as well. So I'm a big fan of that. Love it. Um, let's read the blurb. The blurb says, a mesh lifestyle sneaker is still in full effect. Regards to the specific brand, it seems like, oh, okay. Anyway, Marcus Mil Mil Milinoni independent lifestyle brand has a knack for casual running apparel alongside everyday clothing pieces like hoodies tees mesh shorts and canvas jackets alongside accessories like leather card holders so teaming up here with the ny based label made sense for the style aptly matches the pro grid triumph easygoing personality the collaboration tosses the lifestyle silhouette in a clean hues of white silver deep beige green and off-white as you can see here, mostly free colors. Um, the white hues grace the shoes mesh components while the overlays are complete with metallic silver and deep beige. Then the midsole and the soles components see tones of off-white and deep gravy. Oh, deep gravy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm thinking of gravy. That's some big back shit. Um, deep gray <laughs> rounding out the sneaker are minted and New York on the heels alongside the signature Sakoni logo in green and silver. Retailing $160 USD, the Sakoni minted NY Pro Good Triumph is set to release online as Sakoni minted in why on the 31st of may so really check it out i really do recommend him um really amazing shoes the guy seems really cool online as well he's a good follow if you want some running inspiration all that good stuff and the brand itself looks kind of cool and like i said i've come in the reverse i wasn't really that aware of the brand before wasn't you know, necessarily a fan of what i saw posted but now that he's released the shoes i'm now looking at the shoes or the clothing with a little bit of a squinty dialogue like, hmm I like this, you know what I mean? So I love the stuff, love what they're doing, love all the background stuff you're seeing with people or with him especially showing you all the ideation or all the work that goes into making the brand. You've got, look, posts regarding the work that goes into labels, that goes into some of the patterns they're using and the cuts and the prints, all really good stuff that I think a lot of people that want to buy brands now. They, oh, and also like this, look at this penny loafer. They've actually got a penny underneath the fucking thing. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's also really cool. So um, big up Minted NY, really cool collection, really cool collaboration. I love to see what they've done here and I can't wait to see what else they got to do in the future going forward. Really, really, really do like it. Can't wait to see more from them. Can't wait to see more.